Hello everyone and welcome to the first video of the actual process to hopefully starting my own clothing line. I firstly just want to say a huge thank you to the amount of support that I've gotten so far. I am overwhelmed with the amount of just love and support and like amazing tips that you guys are giving me like it's an amazing feeling of just like I'm just so overwhelmed with just love and like I've, I'm just so happy right now and I'm so excited to actually get this going and start this so yeah I just want to say that I really really appreciate you guys and all of your kind words and your love because it's giving me a lot of motivation to really start this and I just am really thankful for you guys, for your support, and for subscribing to this channel. So with that being said, it is the first video. Um, and what we're going to do is kind of work on my business plan a little bit. This video will probably be in bits and pieces because I've, I'm really busy. So I've got a bunch of other stuff to do as well. So whenever I just have time to work on this, I'm going to work on it. All right. Currently, I'm just going to open up my Google Doc with my business plan. Also, I'm sorry if it's a little bit shaky. I still haven't decided how I'm going to do this filming set up, set up. Right now, I just have you guys on my portable desk on my bed here with my laptop. Okay, so first up, we've got to do the business overview. So I'm probably going to work on this, but I'm going to um, go through the outline with you guys. So my friend actually made this outline for me. Like I mentioned before, he started a couple businesses. So he made this simple outline for me. And if any of you guys want to start your own business, this is probably also a pretty good simple outline. So first off, we got to do a business overview with the description of the business, as well as the market. So I'm going to have to do some research into like market size, the prices, trends, stuff like that. I still have to establish who my target market is. Currently, I'm thinking people in their teens and um, like 20s. Like I want it to be trendy, really cute clothes, but that aren't fast fashion. So I think that's going to be, I don't want to say my edge, but like that's what I'm going for. Like I want to buy those really adorable like little lacy corsets and like fun pants and stuff like that. But I can't buy them because they're off of Shein and you know, that's sweatshops and fast fashion. So it's not good for the workers or for the environment. So when I do my manufacturing process and when I look at that, I'm going to be really focusing on sustainability now with that being said i do know that when you are more of a sustainable business prices do go up so unfortunately i just know that that's gonna happen um so i know that on my end my um variable and fixed costs will be quite high because i will want to focus on sustainability and stuff like that um so as such to make sure that I break even and make profits, I'm also going to have to charge a higher price for my clothes. But when you're buying it, you can feel good because you can know that no little kids who don't want to be working made the clothes, you know, like it's actual people who want to work and are working in safe conditions and are, you know, doing good. That's what I want. So right now we're just focusing on the business plan though like manufacturing will be a whole nother video and that'll probably be a few videos because i'll have to do a bunch of research and i'm going to share with you guys like all the ones that i'm looking at and stuff because the thing that i find that a lot of people do and i guess that they do this because they don't want to share their secrets right is they never share where they manufacture their stuff so whenever i'm looking at stuff they always say find a manufacturer here's a giant list of them with like 400 manufacturers Okay, thank you very much. I do really appreciate this long list of things. When I have 12 hours to go through this list, I will definitely do that. However, when you guys are looking at my clothing line and want to buy from it, 
I also want you guys to be able to see, hey, where are her clothes being manufactured? Like, A, I'm curious because that's what I'm buying, but B, maybe I want to start my own clothing line, you know, not with her designs, something different. And her clothes are great quality and they're sustainable, whatever. So I want to use the same manufacturer. I think that's fine. Like if we're not copying each other's designs, like why can't we share? Sharing is caring, especially if it's a good sustainable manufacturer. So I'm going to be going through all that with you guys. I'm going to tell you guys what I'm doing and I'm going to tell you guys like I'm going to make a Google Doc and I'm going to go through everything with you. So don't you guys worry. We're in this together, okay? Except if I fail, you're not coming down with me. It's just me. But so first up, business overview, description of the business, target market. Okay. Then I have to do problems. So this I just have to have a problem that could arise. This is great for like problem solving skills. Um, A problem that I could have. I'm sure there are definitely a few of them. So I have to think about that. One problem that could arise is, like I mentioned, money and cost. I have saved up um, quite a bit of money for this. Now, that being said, do I want to spend all of my savings on this? Mm, probably not because you also do have to, unfortunately, you have to think about what could happen if this doesn't go well. And I do not want to have all of my money down the drain. So I'm going to have to budget. And budgeting will be a different video because I'm going to have to research how to budget. And I think that'll also play into manufacturing because I don't really know how much it's going to cost to produce my clothes. But I do have some money saved. Um, I don't know how much money you should probably have saved for this. But I've got some money saved. Next up, we got customer segments. So my demographics, stuff like that. Again, I'm going to have to do some research on my target market. Um, and then we've got competitive advantage. Why am I better? And also my solution to my problem. So this, like I mentioned, will probably be um, the fact that, hey, we're providing trendy clothes that you can wear in your cute little TikTok videos and dance and have fun. Um, do all that type of stuff, take like fun pictures on your Instagram, all that trendy stuff that lots of us want to do, but you won't be supporting, um, fast fashion or unsustainable practices. Um, so I think that's like a competitive advantage I could have. Also a competitive advantage is like, maybe it's cool that I'm... I've already done like YouTube with like Ocean's ASMR, so like I've already got that going. Then I have to do research on channels. So my suppliers, my distribution, and my promotion and brand. Yeah, there's a lot to do. And then the financials. Ugh. So this is probably the most important part, but if you guys know, I absolutely despise finance with a passion, with a burning passion. So I do not want to do this, but I'm going to have to. So I'm going to have to go over my price. I have to make an income statement. And you guys want to know what? My balance sheets would never balance. So I'm going to have to work with someone who's really good at accounting. The good thing about being in a business program is that I have a lot of friends. Actually, rewind. I have a lot of peers. They aren't necessarily my friends because I'm not that social, but I have a lot of peers. So I'm sure that I could reach out to them and be like, hey, would you help me with this? I could pay them a little bit and I'm sure I could get some help and stuff like that if I needed to. I also am on Project Red for um, Queens University. We are a, like, we donate money to the Heart Stroke Foundation and our website designer for that He's on the club, so I'm thinking I might reach out to him for my website design if I can't do it myself because I think I would want to do my layout myself, but I also don't know coding and stuff like that. And I've made websites before, but I'm sure that this is going to be much more complex than the websites I've made in like grade 7 and grade 10, you know what I mean? But I have some peers who I think I could reach out to, so that's good that I'm in a business program and I have those resources. 
it's also good that I could talk to my professors if I wanted to and be like, hey, like I'm starting this out. Could you help me? My accounting teacher would definitely be like, oh, sweetie, nothing ever balanced on your exams. You've got a long way to go. So probably not going to reach out to him, but that's an option. And then next steps he wrote out for me, which I appreciate. So my next steps to do, I have to do research my business plan. Hi, first step, create timeline and goals. I don't know when I want my clothing line to be ready for. I don't know what a realistic timeline is. Again, I'm going to have to do research on that. Create designs of clothing. Oh, the best part. I really want to do that. Create a brand and name. Begin smell selling small exclusive amounts and then um, launch publicly if it goes well. So what we can talk about now is the name. Actually, first, you know what? I'm just going to go over that one more time. So if you are typing this out right now, I doubt anyone is, but if you're typing this out right now and you want a business overview, um, like a business plan, your steps, right? Business overview with your description, your market and problem, customer segments, competitive advantage with your solution. Then you have your channels with suppliers, distribution, promotion, and brand. Then you have your financials with prices and income statement and cash flows. God, I hate cash flows. Um, and that's a really simple business plan, which doesn't seem quite simple at all uh, when I'm really thinking about it. But anyways, as for the name, I personally wanted to name it after, like I wanted, I always wanted Ocean Swimwear because my name's Ocean and you swim in the ocean, not me because I'm terrified of the ocean, ironically, but I liked that. However, there's already a lot of brands that have the name Ocean, Ocean Boutique, Ocean, like I've worked with like Ocean Wave Boutique before. Um, it's a different small business. Like there's a lot of stuff with that name, but there's not a lot with Oceana, which is my full name. Fun fact, I actually really don't like my full name because my mom, <laughs> she, whenever I was in trouble, she used to say Oceana. And that's how I knew I was in trouble. But Oceana for a clothing line actually does sound quite nice. And my friends really like it. And I think Oceana, the label sounds really cool because could you just imagine if this went well, guys, just pit, picture big, dream big. If this went well, and then I was able to have like Oceana Cosmetics with like vegan um, cosmetics. Like stop right now, like wouldn't that be so cool? That would be sick. And we could have like nice like glass packaging and like bamboo packaging and like Oceana Cosmetics. So when you're shopping on my website, you could like look at the clothes and then you could look at the cosmetics. like. I think that Oceana is a brand, you know, we've got clothes and we've got makeup if we wanted to, we could do skincare way down the line. Again, dreaming big here, but that doesn't sound half bad guys. So in the comments, let me know what you think. Do you like Oceana? Oceana the label? I think, I think it's nice. I really like it. So I hope you guys like it too, because before I wanted to name it something just like pretty, like, I don't know, like Cloud Boutique. Do you know what I mean? Like I wanted it to be something random, but pretty, like dreams, whatever. These are awful, um, but you know what I mean? Something not after myself. And my one friend suggested that I do it after my initials, but I don't really like that. I think Oceana sounds better. So that's my name. and. I will need that for a making sure that all of my socials line up with that and be for website stuff. So let me know right away if you guys like that. If you do, then great. I can keep it and we can keep going, keep on moving. But Oceana, the label and then Oceana Cosmetics. Can you see it? Because I can see it. I can see it. I can see it. I'm manifesting. Okay. So that's that. What else did I want to talk to you guys about in this first video? Um, oh, I already had a bunch of questions. Some people were like, I don't see your website. Like the link isn't working. Like where can I buy stuff? I haven't even started. I don't even have a business plan, which I really, really appreciate the support already. But now I'm like, okay, I got to get 
started. Like, I gotta get going. So, people were asking me if my size range would be inclusive, A, and B, if I was going to do kids' clothing. So, when any company is starting out, especially with clothes, you don't have a very wide um, size range, unfortunately. And it's the same thing when a cosmetic brand is launching. You're not going to launch with 40 shades. You're not going to do that because that's way too expensive. And if things go bad, like you're kind of screwed because you spent all that money. So I'm going to have to start out with, I like, I'm pretty sure just small, medium, large. That's what I think is standard, especially when I'm going to with like to manufacturers and stuff like I think that's just standard so I'll have to look into that like eventually if this goes well guys obviously I'm gonna add like extra small extra extra small like like plus sizes like I want that like trust me I want this to be as inclusive as possible but I have to budget and I have to make sure I can afford that and also when I do take pictures and stuff with the models I want so many different types of models like I want it to be so diverse and so inclusive like that's the part that I think I'm also so excited about is doing photo shoots with like a bunch of different models and I can like hear their stories and stuff like wouldn't it be so cool to be on the site like shopping for clothes and then you can see a little tidbit about the model come on like wouldn't you love that I would love that obviously that's a long time down the road and hopefully everything with the pandemic is done so I can work with a bunch of models and do that but I think that that would be awesome as for our kids clothing I maybe down the road. That's not my priority right now. My pr priority is actual like adult teen clothes type of thing because like baby clothes, as much as I would love to have my baby brother model the clothes, I'm just gonna just, I gotta find my niche first. We can't start too big because like I said, I'm gonna go bankrupt. I'm gonna be in debt here. Um, so that was that with the sizes and kids clothes. And then quickly also, I wanted to talk about um, the website. So for my website layout, this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking you click on Oceana the label, right? And then you can either shop by collection or by product. So what I wanna do is I wanna come out with collections, like, I don't know, different collections, different aesthetics type of thing, right? So this collection, we came out with a few tops, a skirt, a dress, and a swimsuit, right? Get the collection. So when you shop, and I've got a few collections, you can either shop by collection or shop by tops, bottoms, dresses, swimsuits, whatever. But initially, we'll just I'm just going to drop a collection, see how it goes, my first collection. And then from there, we can add on collections. Ah, like, that's so exciting. So that's what I want. And then I also want a part where you can either, where like it'll take you to, I guess on the same site, or I'm not sure if I should do it an external site, you guys can let me know, but where you can either stay on Oceana the label or you can go to Ocean's ASMR merch. Because I know a lot of you guys, I don't know why I'm saying a lot of you guys, probably all of you guys are coming here from my ASMR channel. So I'm sure a lot of you would like merch. Um, and if I do come out with actual Ocean's ASMR merch, like, I'm gonna talk about that on my main channel too, don't you worry. But I think I, I would have it all on the website, and if I'm doing already the clothing line, I think that I could just do merch kind of at the same time and see how it goes. You know, if my clothing line flops but the merch does well, I'll just sell more merch and at least I've got merch in the clothing line. It didn't work out, but we tried, but I so that's also what I want for the website where you can shop my actual clothing line and then you can shop merch because I know people want that and I want to give you guys what you want. So that's the plan. That was just kind of intro of where I'm starting and what I got to do. So this video is already 19 minutes long. I don't even think I have to make any cuts in it because I've just been ramble, ramble, ramble. Probably very boring and not interesting to you guys. But... I think I'm just going to cut this video here and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on my business plan and then once I've actually worked through it and I have it decently ready, I'm going to come back and film another video and go through it with you guys and then you can give me comments and stuff about the business plan, any tips like that and I'll share with you guys what I've come up with and we can go from there. 
I think that, that sounds good. Like I said, this is all step by step. I'm just, I'm just going. I'm taking you guys along with me for the ride. So we are doing this all together. You are going to see every little bit of the way, every little bit of the way. And we're gonna, we're gonna see how it goes and remain optimistic. So with that being said, gonna end the video here. I hope you, I don't know, liked hearing me ramble about just a crap ton of stuff. And let me know what you think about A, the website layout, how I have like the merch or what you think I should do with that. If it should be an external site on the same site. Again, that's down the road since I don't even have a website at all something I, I can think about and then also let me know what you guys think about the name because that's really important and I quite like Oceana Oceana the label eventually hopefully Oceana Cosmetics that'd be so cool um so yeah let me know what you guys think about that and I will see you guys in my next video which I hope to be soon currently I I'm filming on my phone and I just went to pick up my phone Currently, it is Saturday, January the 9th, I think, and school starts for me on the 11th, but I really want to do this. Like, I have so much motivation, and I am just manifesting, and I want to work hard. I want to work hard and have this, so I'm going to try. I'm not going to stress myself out too much, but I also want to work hard because hard work pays off. So I want to work hard, and I'm going to try and dedicate as much time to this as I can, but obviously... School comes first, I need my degree, and my ASMR channel and a vibe comes first as well. So any of my spare time, you bet you're a little cute butt that I am gonna be working on this. So that's the plan. Um, but I will see you guys in my next video, which will hopefully be very soon. I love you guys so much. Let me know what you think about those little things that I mentioned and yeah next video we'll be talking about the business plan more in depth and what i've actually come up with